Vortex, I'm still gonna bitch about comedians. <laughs> this is where I do this. I, I don't do this when I'm on stage because I'm, I'm too busy doing my material. That's the thing, other comedians don't have enough material, so they have to insult other comics performing either before or after them, shitting on their persona or whatever, which is like kind of trash, honestly. Like, if, you're, if you weren't insecure, you wouldn't have to do that. Now, I get that that's part of it. But I still think it's kind of shitty. Because there's a way to do it and fun. Like, you can tell if somebody's all butt hurt versus if somebody's, like, you know, just doing it because, it, you know, it's part of the whole nature of it. But like, just thinking about it, just really annoys me, man. Like, I mean, I'm so used to being misunderstood and being a weirdo, but it's just aggravating, kind of like being the only one that's like willing to do that, you know, like, well, actually, I take that back. Brad does that too. My friend Brad Covington, he does music and he's an actual musician that's really, really good. And his stuff is really well thought out and perfectly synchronized and all that. Like, he's brilliant. My stuff is just so scatterbrained and ridiculous that people think that I like just got off my medication or some shit, you know? <laughs> like they have no choice but to assume that. But you know, people are so insecure that they just like have to like pick at somebody that really really knows themselves and is like totally fine like being crazy or misinterpreted but like I get a reaction out of people though like I was just thinking about how like Getting a reaction is like pretty fucking cool. Oh fuck. Oh my god. Fuck. What do I do? 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 Okay. Cool. Wonder what y'all are doing. Playing more surveillance in the street. do my material and I don't back down and I don't care about the audience all of these dudes they will literally attempt a joke if it's not working they'll just give up on it and just stop altogether and be like okay I guess you guys didn't like that one <laughs> and then like people laugh at that which is not a win okay you're just pussying out because you actually have a pussy okay you don't have a penis. You definitely don't have a ball sack. 
I don't know what you have down there, but it's not either of those things. So, you say like one thing that they either don't agree with or they don't laugh at and you just give up on yourself. Like, what does that say about your comedy? Like, the, and I get that it's like, it's, it's stand up, like, it's just an open mic. It's some shit bar, like it doesn't matter, right? But it's like, if you don't even have the confidence to do it there, like, how are you going to have confidence to like be a big time comic? You know, I don't get that. But anyway, maybe I'm wrong. Tell me I'm wrong. Please tell me I'm wrong. Maybe I'm a piece of shit and I should just kill myself. But oh, I don't think I, I think it's everybody else that should do that. But like, yeah, like. I just was like noticing that tonight about all these people. They, they just kept saying that over and over again. Like, oh no, I'm not gonna do that joke. I'm not gonna do that, no, no, no. No, that joke didn't work. Oh no, fuck that. I guess I'm gonna cut that one. Oh, da, da, da. So you're just like getting up there and insulting yourself the entire time. Like, if you don't have confidence in yourself, why in the motherfucker are you doing stand-up, dude? You're not gonna get more secure doing stand-up. It's, it's not, it's not gonna happen for you. I mean, whatever you're trying to achieve through stand-up is not going to be achieved. I'm not saying that you don't have any comic potential at all. I'm not saying that you don't have any talent at all or you're never funny. But what I'm saying is that... What are you saying? <laughs> what am I saying? I don't know what I'm saying, obviously. No, but like, there were at least... six or seven comics tonight man that did that and I know that they're funny and they've been doing comedy for a while and they were doing the same shit that I see people do when they just start doing comedy I don't know maybe they're just like infantilized because of the phones or because of the medicine that they're on or because of that fucking vape pen that they can't keep out of their fucking hand it's either the phone or the vape pen that little baby bottle or whatever the fuck it is. That's what I call it. It looks like a little baby bottle. But anyway. Yeah, so. I insulted another woman who tried to help me by, like, giving me something to use on stage. I'm like, no, bitch. Like, this is my set. Like, why are you trying to meddle in my shit? Like, typical woman shit, dude. Typical woman shit. <sighs> I think that she got mad about it. Yeah, she did. She was offended. She was offended that she didn't want her help. No, but that's why I said, oh yeah, most women need help. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I don't, bitch. I don't. Yeah, go back to your fucking shrink and then kill yourself. Anyway, it's just so annoying. It's like people just need somebody else's approval and they need somebody else to like what they do and appreciate what they do. See, I don't need appreciation. That's why I have him. Anyway. <sighs> yeah, but I definitely get a reaction out of people. And, like, that's good. That's good. I mean, there were people, like, heckling during everybody else's set but mine. So what does that tell you? What does that tell you? Maybe Amy Gross is right. Maybe Amy Gross is, like, doing something that nobody else is doing, that nobody else has the balls to do, even though they supposedly have a ball sack. I'll believe it when I see it, bitch. <laughs>